This rather sleek looking laptop is none other than the Lenovo IdeaPad Gaming 3, and in this video, I'm going to review it. For a budget laptop, when it comes to the specs of this thing, it is no slouch. It's got an RTX 3050 graphics card, which has 4GB of VRAM. It's got an Intel Core i5-11300H, which is a quad-core 8-thread CPU. Originally, these laptops come with 8GB uh, of 3200MHz DDR4 in single channel. I upgraded this laptop to 16GB of 3200 DDR4, which I recommend doing. Uh, it has almost over gotten over double the performance with just that extra RAM upgrade. Um, also stock, it comes with a 256 gigabyte NVMe SSD, but there is a slot for another NVMe SSD or a three and a half inch SATA SSD. So I upgraded to a one terabyte uh, SATA SSD in this. Um, so lots of upgradability in this thing, and um, that's another upgrade I recommend doing is the storage. 256 gigabytes definitely does not last long, especially with larger games such as Call of Duty or Microsoft Flight Simulator and games like that. So when it comes to the display on this laptop, this thing is quite good. It is 1920 by 1080 p at 120 hertz. Uh, laptops like this, like budget laptops, used to come with 60 hertz displays, which I think is just really dumb, especially on a gaming laptop. I think at 120 hertz should be the minimum for a gaming laptop. Uh, so this does have that, which is great. The colors are extremely amazing on this uh, display, especially watching videos since it does have HDR video support, which makes it look really amazing. So when it comes to the battery in this thing, uh, it is a 45 watt hour battery. Uh, Lenovo claims it'll have up to five hours of battery life on a full charge. And the testing and use I've done with this laptop, that is completely false. Uh, I've got maybe two hours of battery life with this thing, um, with just doing things like basic web browsing and uh, some video editing maybe here and there um, on a full charge. So the, the battery does last for a, few, a couple hours, but it's nothing near what Lenovo claims. Uh, I imagine just leaving the laptop sit idle. Uh, that could possibly allow for five hours of battery time, but what's the point of that? If you have your laptop, you kind of want to use it. Um, it does come with a 135 watt uh, charger here, which I like. It's very slim and uh, it'll make it a lot easier to fit in a backpack or a bag. And the charger is nice and long. You get a lot of cord here with that. The keyboard feels really nice. It's got a good amount of travel and the keys feel very sturdy. And there's also not a ton of uh, keyboard flex, which is very nice. The whole laptop feels very sturdy and strong. Uh, the keyboard is backlit. You can adjust it by pressing the function and then the space bar. You can either have it off on a medium or a low setting and a high setting and then off. Uh, no RGB, but it is nice to have a white backlit keyboard. As far as the trackpad goes, it feels super nice. Uh, it is made out of plastic, but it's really nice and large. And it does have Windows precision drivers and overall it feels really, really smooth and just very responsive and nice. The port selection on this laptop is also very nice. On the left side of the laptop, we get a square Lenovo charge port, an ethernet port, an HDMI port, and a USB type C. While on the right side, we get two USB three ports and a three and a half millimeter microphone headphone combo jack. As far as the styling goes on this laptop, I think this is one of the best cleanest looking gaming laptops you can get. Uh, just because of the I mean, it does have some angles, as you can see on the lid here, and it's kind of angled on the corners. But overall, I mean, you just have a nice classy Lenovo logo right there made out of some nice brushed aluminum on just a nice matte black, kind of almost grayish slate color uh, lid. And the inside, nothing screams gamer about this uh, too much. It's just a perfect level of, I mean, you got the angles, but overall just looks super clean. Uh, not a crazy amount of venting on the back. There is a vent that runs along the bottom here. You get some venting on the sides and the fans intake from the bottom. And again, just very simple design, good looking laptop. And uh, that's one thing that I really love about this thing. All right, so I am playing Call of Duty Cold War here. 
and I have the graphics set to uh, 1080p, obviously since it's a 1080p display. Uh, I have the texture quality set to medium just because of our VRAM limit. Again, we only have 4 gigs of VRAM. Uh, but I have everything else completely maxed out. So we're using about 3 gigabytes of our VRAM. And we're getting 80s, high 80s to 120, 110, 120 FPS there. Um, feels really good. The game feels very simple, like responsive. I did not realize that was an enemy there. The game feels really responsive. We're getting anywhere from, I'd say, high 70s maybe to 120 FPS, which is the full refresh rate of our monitor. I'm playing on max settings again, except for the uh, medium texture quality, of course. Uh, so the game looks really good as well. I mean, the reflections. Um, I don't have ray tracing enabled. Um, I might do a video in the future. Uh, can you do RTX things with an RTX 3050? I think that'd be kind of a fun video to do. But yeah, overall, game performs really good and looks really good. So I am now in Overwatch 2 and I've got the game completely maxed out, everything as high as it can go. And we're getting. It's like high 90s to 120 FPS once again. Uh, actually, right now it's sitting just right in the hundreds, which is really nice because we're basically maxing out our monitor refresh rate here, which is perfect, especially for esports e titles like this. Game again looks really amazing because it's all maxed out, so all the reflections and everything just look really good. And being able to get over 100 FPS max settings is, is pretty good. I'm I'm definitely happy with that. So guys, that is the Lenovo IdeaPad Gaming 3. Honestly, this thing's a really great laptop. It's got a lot of performance and stays really cool. That being said, I would recommend, if you do get this laptop, adding into your budget a 16 gig of 3200 DDR4 RAM kit, as well as some sort of SSD upgrade, whether that's adding another NVMe, a 3.5 inch SATA SSD, or upgrading the SSD that's in there. Uh, 256 gigs is just not a lot of storage. And as far as RAM upgrade, I literally got over double the performance that I did with a single 8 gig stick of RAM in there. It is a huge bottleneck to the, this laptop, so definitely consider that when you're buying this laptop. Other than that, this laptop is really great. I love the performance, I love the display, keyboard, everything is just amazing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.